lot of people have been asking to see Roman's Smitty Bin collection. And he's really excited to share. I hope you like it. Garbage Family Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Garbage Family Show. Today it's all about mini bins. And I have two new ones for my collection today. Let's open them up and see what we got. So these mini bins um, match the colors of my old ones. And um, here we go guys, pull me a truce. Just like my old ones I got when I was one years old. Oh, there's the wheels on the side. There we go. There we go. Another mini bin. The, they're mainly supposed to be pencil holders, but I use them as toy mini bins. Now, if you don't have these kind of mini bins, you can also use little plastic cups that you can find at grocery stores. Or you could use gum holders, like stuff that holds gum. You can take all the wrapping off, draw on it if you want, and make your own little mini bins. Now I'm gonna show you my mini bin collection and what makes them special. All right guys, so here's my collection of mini cans. This one is one of my three waste management cans. One, two, and three. This one says Think Green and Think Green. This one does not say Think Green. This one was passed down from a friend of mine named Alexandra. I got most of them from the uh, truck that picks them up, but I also bought packs and packs and packs, and that's why I have so, so many. These are one of my SSI Schaefer bins I got for my most recent birthday. Here's another one, and here's a clip of it. I love these so much. This is the top gift I've been waiting for. And now, these are one of my Phoenix, City of Phoenix garbage cans. I also have a blue one right here. But the lid broke and the wheels broke and the tires came off. It was a perfect can and then boom. And here's some of my Republic Services cans. Somebody gave them to my dad and asked to give them to me. He came home with a bunch of them and that's why I have so many. Like six, six I think. There's a lot. And here's um, one of my Chandler recycling cans right here. It's pretty cool. Here's a Mesa recycling can. And there's this little one that came actually with uh, that one right there. These two came as a pair in a box, just like this one, but different. And they were really fun to play with. There's some yellow and pink cans right here. Those came, those were actually at my grandma's house to play with but my mom, grandma gave them to me and let me have them and they were really fun to play with. And I also have these two of the same brand. They're both, they're two black cans. This one had the lid broken off. And here's some of my Gilbert cans that I got from Gilbert. They uh, were really fun, Gilbert let me have them. They're really fun to play with. Some lids broken, some lids not. Some lids, go some wheels going, some not. They're really fun to play with. And here's RAD cans. RAD stands for Right Away Disposal. These I got when I was only one years old. These cans are all important to me because each one has a memory. Say the this one and that one I got from one of my drivers. The first Gilbert Garbage Truck driver I ever had, Martin, it's, he's, he's an amazing guy. He gave me those two, they're awesome memories. And these exercise Schaefer cans I got from my most recent birthday this year. And they're a memory, those are memories, those are memories, they're all memories. Every single can has a purpose. I know most people think of them as pencil holders or decorations, but I like to think of them as memories, toy cans, and it's just a hobby of mine. I mean, I love doing it. It reminds me of how important 
of putting garbage where it belongs, recycling where it belongs, and waste where it belongs. It reminds me of all the important things of taking care of the environment. Do you have any mini bins? Go to our Facebook page and 